Thanks for watching the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. We're here with the news of the Montgomery County Council for this first week in March. And we start this week with developments associated with the future of Clarksburg. The council recently held a town meeting in the community where more than 300 residents came out to voice their concerns about the future of this up county village. After 10 years of waiting and debate, when is Clarksburg honestly going to get what it was promised from the amended 1994 master plan with its infrastructure, its services, its professional related amenities, its parks, its library, th those things which we richly need. And for the survival of Clarksburg, it's imperative that we begin to receive some support from the council to have that happen. There was a wide array of topics covered in the hour long meeting, but topping the list concerns about recommendations that would limit the amount of development near the 10 mile creek. Just two weeks ago, two council committees agreed to cap the amount of impervious surface produced by new construction. And this week, the full council agreed with that recommendation. We took seriously our responsibility to be stewards of the environment, but we did take into account fully the land use considerations and fully how Clarksburg isn't what we thought it was going to be when we first passed the plan 20 years ago, which is appropriate. In a straw vote, the council approved a 15% impervious cap for the Egan and Miles Coppola properties and 6% for the Pulte Homes plan, scaling back the original scope of each project by several hundred units. Council President Craig Rice voted in favor of the plan, but not the impervious caps. Allowing for additional de development to happen on uh, the east side of 270, closest to town center, would help support uh, the town center and support overall that region, that town center district. And so that's the reason why I felt it was a mistake for us leaving uh, some other options on the table uh, to be able to give uh, Clarksburg residents more assurity that there was going to be uh, something else that came about that would help support town center. Um, so those are the two options. I think the, a lot of other things that are there in the master plan are great uh, for Clarksburg and uh, that's the reason why I supported the plan as a whole. In the end, council members say the regulations they plan to impose will allow some construction, foster the evolution of Clarksburg, and will limit damage to the watershed. The council will take official action on the plan at its session March 25th. After weeks of discussions and work sessions, the council has passed a plan that rewrites the county zoning code. The revised code will reduce the number of zones, clarify uses for each zone, and rethink existing commercial strips and office parks. I think the average person is really not going to see any change in Montgomery County. For the advocates, uh, for the people who are really interested in land use and zoning, they will find now that with with one click of their mouse, pretty much of their computer, they're now going to have, uh, well, within the next year, they will have electronic uh, access to what the uh, current zoning is on a piece of property and what the uses will be, and I believe also the history of the zoning on that particular property. This is huge. Uh, for Montgomery County residents. They're also going to get real clarity as to how changes can be implemented and real clarity as to what is permitted now. Right now you have to hunt uh, through a, an elaborate set of documents to figure out what the rules are. Uh, this adds tremendous clarity for everybody. In other news, a public hearing on a measure that would provide public campaign financing for a candidate for county executive or county council. The bill is sponsored by Councilmember Phil Andrews and co-sponsored by all eight of his colleagues. He told us the goal is to open opportunities for more people to run for county elected office. It will help people who ha don't have access to traditional sources of big money, whether it's PACs or uh, developers or uh, wealthy individuals, uh, empower more people to be able to run. And that's good for the public because if you have competition, you're going to have more responsive government and uh, this is a, a good way to achieve it. Well, that does it for this edition of the Council in Brief. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy. Thanks for watching.